I'm Bay watching again. Hi, Amanda, and welcome to another video of mine. Welcome to today's Friday's video, and you know what I'm gonna tell you how to do. I'm gonna tell you how to get motivated because, in my opinion, I'm pretty good at motivating myself, kind of. Nicey, in about 45 minutes, I'm about to do squad workout. And if you don't know what squad workout is, you should watch my vlogs to find out what squad workout is. And a lot of the times when I have to go, you know, work out or do something like that, I have to motivate myself so I'm not like, ugh. And so I'll be like, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you to do that. The first thing you gotta do is realize it's not gonna be that bad, you know? We think it's gonna be like the most awful thing we've ever done in our entire lives. When in reality, while we're doing whatever we're doing that we were dreading, it's not actually that bad. Something to help you motivate yourself is to get pumped up. You know, you can listen to some good music. You just like dance. You can just freaking scream all over the place. Let's go! You can also jump around. You know, you can also, after you're done doing whatever you were dreading that you needed motivation for, you could reward yourself afterwards after completing such tasks. So here's some examples of what you could think about, how you could reward yourself, you know, after doing such tasks. I know 99% of the population struggles with this, and that is getting out of bed. Now, when you get out of bed, you're like, oh, I'm so comfy. Maybe you're just snuggled up in those blankets. You're like, oh, I really don't want to get out of bed. And so you're not motivated to get out of bed because it just feels so good. But what you got to think to yourself of how to motivate yourself to get out of bed is thinking to yourself, hey, I get to go eat breakfast now. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love breakfast. And so... That's basically why I get out of bed in the morning to go eat breakfast. You know, maybe you're working out, you're like, oh, it's gonna be so hard. First off, realize it's actually not gonna be that bad. And then just think about how you're gonna feel afterwards. You're gonna feel pretty great. Maybe your mom told you to do some chores and like she's at work all day and you just like, oh, I don't wanna clean. Well, think to yourself, the sooner you get it done, the sooner you can do whatever you wanna do in your life. You know, maybe you're cooking or baking, whatever your heart desires. I prefer baking over cooking, but that doesn't matter right now. You're like, oh, that takes so much effort to slap stuff together and make it good and uh. But just think how good it's gonna taste after you're done. And like, you're gonna be like, mm, this is so great. It's nourishing my body. You know, I know a lot of people struggle with this. I sort of do, except not really. Is that homework, getting done homework is so hard for people to do. Now you see, I had off hours to do at school, so that's when I did it. And so as soon as I got home, I didn't have any homework. So if you're trying to motivate yourself to do homework, just think, you know, why put it off when I can do it right now, then I have the rest of the night to just do whatever I want. It's gonna be chill, I'll be light as a feather, no stress, no nothing to worry about, just mmm. Yes. You know, a lot of people, when you get to high school, you find out that it's really hard to motivate yourself to go to school. And so me having perfect attendance can tell you how to motivate yourself to go to school. Just realize, do you wanna be successful one day? Do you wanna like have a job, have a family, have a house, support that family? Well, just think to yourself, you know, I gotta go to school, gotta graduate, gotta get a degree, gotta go to college, all that. So that should just motivate your future. And the last thing I have an example for is work. A lot of people have jobs. I have a job. I nanny kids, you know? I nanny my cousins. I'm not typically enjoying it that much this summer because they just fight all the time. And so sometimes I'm just like, ugh. But then I think to myself, Angie, you make $10 an hour with no taxes just to hang out with kids. Go be a nanny. So just think to yourself what money you're gonna be making and what you could do with that money, which you should save it. But I'm not telling you what to do. And that was all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, it's free. I make new videos on this channel every Friday, so you can check me out next Friday. That'd be cool. I also have a vlog channel, and I almost daily vlog, but not entirely daily vlog. I'm close to daily vlogging, though, so you should actually uh, subscribe to that. Link's in the description below. And I'll see you guys next Friday with a brand new video. Bye! Guess whose battery light is blinking? Mine, and I still have to vlog with this camera. I'm gonna go plug my battery. Blah, 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 blah.